Now, this is my favorite climb to cross Plant the Earth. In Trauma Bay 2 of Allegiant of, uh, Creighton's Trauma Center, Dr. Juan Asensio the grips the cross clamp, an instrument he's used thousands of times. Through here come into personal violence, vehicular violence, uh, alcohol, drug abuse, spousal abuse. Trauma surgeons like Dr. Asensio sculpt living tissue. In here, time is precious. Some survive, many don't. It's here on the third floor. Ambulances will park, roll their patients in, where trauma surgeons will have seconds to make life-saving decisions. I uh, saw a lot of people get killed at an early age, and I thought uh, this was the most noble thing that I could do, is to try to, you know, uh, save lives. Allegiant's new trauma director hasn't officially started yet, but he's already at work. We want to make sure that they don't arrive here. With a strong medicine of his own, he tries to save patients before they're rolled in. Violence prevention. Los Angeles, Miami, Philadelphia. It's worked in a lot of different places. It's worked in other countries. Dr. Asensio has already met with Omaha law enforcement, city, and religious leaders. He doesn't want a teenager on his operating table. If I have just opened some young man's chest from a gunshot wound, I'm going to have a special bond with that, yep, that young person. And I'm going to talk to them. And I'm going to engage him. And I want to find out why this happened. He talks with at-risk kids, 18,000 so far. He shows them pictures of wounds, what violence looks like. We get the patient hopefully stabilized and off to the operating room for definitive therapy. Hoping to help change the metro inside the ER and beyond. In Omaha, Megan Matthews, KMTV, Action 3 News.